Yo, Blender Bench here. Let's create a chain link inside of Blender in under three minutes. Let's get started. First, delete the default cube. Let's hit Shift A, go to Mesh, then go to Torus. The bottom left corner, let's open the Add Torus tab here. Let's change the segments to 24 by 12 and change the major radius to 0.84 meters. Now let's hit 7 to go to the top view. And once in edit mode, we can toggle on the X-ray mode. Then we can go to Vertices Select and Drag Select the bottom half of the Torus. Then we can drag the vertices down. A quick note, it's always great to use reference whenever you can. Now let's get back to the touch. Once satisfied, you can toggle off the x-ray mode, hit tab to go back to object mode, then hit shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel the movement, press R 90 Y to rotate 90 degrees in the Y axis. Now pressing G then Y, we can grab and move the duplicate in the Y axis. Shift select both objects, then control J to combine them together. Pressing 7 on the keypad back in the top view, we can now shift A, go to curve and select path, then we can rotate it 90 degrees in the Z axis. Now, once that's complete, we can now slide that to the left so we can see it a bit better and press S to upscale the path. And now that we're done with that, now we can start duplicating the chain link. And to do that, we need to add a modifier. So go to the modifier tab here and let's add an array. And adding an array just adds duplicates of the chain link. So changing the factor adjusts the spacing between each count, as you can see here. So let's change the factor X back to zero and let's just adjust factor Y. And once you're satisfied, we can move forward. And this looks great here, so we can confirm that. Now moving on to count, we need to make the count match the same length as the path's curve. So to do that, we need to change the fit type from fit count to fit curve, select the eyedrop tool, then select the path on the 3D viewport. Now once we select the path on the viewport, press tab to go to edit mode, we can adjust each vertice by extruding it with E. Now you see the chain link start to match the same length. That's good, but it doesn't actually follow the path. So to get it to follow the path, let's go back into object mode, then select the chain link, and let's add another modifier to the stack and we need to add a curve modifier. Now, once we have that, we can go to curve object, select the eyedrop tool, then select the path. And quickly, you'll notice the chain link now follows the same shape as the path. Now, if you select the path and go to edit mode and start to use this, you see that it's now procedural, but it comes with a slight defect and that's a little bit of squash and stretch. Now, just be cautious of that. Now, let's move forward. Back in object mode, we can select our chain link, then right click and go to shade smooth to make it look pretty. Now we can apply these once satisfied by going to the modifier tab, selecting the drop down and pressing apply. Now if you select the path once again and go to edit mode, you'll see by selecting and adjusting the vertices no longer affects the chain links, which makes it no longer procedural. So just be sure that your final result is what you want before applying your modifiers. Now let's just select our chain link and go to edit mode and quickly you see now it's made of geometry. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice, quick and to the point. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next video.